Hey guys, Wes from Insert Frame here, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your frame of form to Form Spark. So I'm imagining you've already built a form, but if you haven't and you want to learn how, you can click the card in the corner of this video to watch a tutorial. So now that you hopefully have a form, let's connect it to Form Spark. So we're going to go to the Form Spark website, and from here you can sign in or create an account. Once you're in, you'll click this button that says Create New Form. Now that it's loaded up, first thing you have to do is give it a name. You can get creative and call yours Michael, Samantha, or Jerry. I probably wouldn't recommend any of those names though because that's pretty impractical. I'll call mine Waitlist. Then optionally, you can give it a description, but that's too much work, so I'm just going to leave mine blank. And under Technology, you'll want to select Other. That'll bring us straight to the settings of the form. But we don't want the settings, we just want the form ID. We just click it and right click and copy it. We're about halfway now, so I'm going to give you a second to pat yourself on the back. Which you can stop doing now because you are going to need your hand on the mouse for this next part. I'm going to open up Framer to the form that you either already built or built 10 seconds into this video. And if you haven't built it yet, this is getting out of hand. So you want to make sure you select the Submit button. This is very important. In the properties panel, we'll scroll down to submit to and select form spark. See how it gives us a new field underneath called form spark form ID? This is where we paste in our form spark form ID. Confusing, I know. From here, you do nothing. You're done. But just to make sure, let's give it a test. So we're going to hit publish, update. We're going to go to the live site and we're just going to fill out the form with some dribble just to test it out. So jerry, jerry at hotmail.com. I would love to receive updates and now we submit. Now we're going to go back to the form spark dashboard and then go to submissions to see if we received anything. Cool. It looks like we did jerry from jerry at hotmail.com. Congratulations, you now know how to connect your frame of form to form spark. Hope this helped and that you have a great day.